Lisa, I've never seen a senior design project quite like this one, and it's made from things we see at the store, like a bungee cord, a fishing line, a few nuts and bolts, and well, a 3D printer. And that redesign is already being used by a girl in Canyon. What was once the creation for a group of researchers in South Africa is now the highlight project for a group of students at WT. Dr. Emily Hunt, the director of the School of Engineering and Computer Sciences, says her students took the original model and redesigned it to fit a child. Our students are interested in projects where they see a connection between what they're doing in engineering and how that's helping people. For her students, that connection was Dr. Hunt's daughter, Allie. Allie was born with what doctors call symbrachydactyly. According to Dr. Hunt, it's the most common hand difference among children. Scientifically, it's not fully developed, but that's how it got made me. Doctors at Texas Scottish Rite Hospital approached Dr. Hunt with the idea of redesigning the model. She then passed it along to her students. It took a full semester of research. It's got a lot of everything involved in it. The modeling and the 3D printing is st stuff we already knew about. But to use it towards actually helping someone out and helping them with something that you know, they need something that's going to benefit their lives. It's a little bit different in that way. You learned your mistakes as you went, but for us, we didn't know what exactly was wrong until we printed the hand, and so then you'd have to go all the way back to the beginning instead of only going back a couple steps. So that was probably our biggest setback. And when it came to making some of those major changes, Allie was right there to give a suggestion or two. I thought it was like kind of big and bulky, and it took up my, like, my entire forearm, and it was just white and blue and it just didn't really look good to me. Dr. Hunt says the design is something that can be taken even further to help children worldwide. The idea is that not that we re replace their hand, but that we are giving them a tool to use, um, to, you know, a helper hand. Dr. Hunt says there's already a new group of students working on small modifications to the hand this semester. And as for Allie, she has one final request and that, that the new model is pink. Another interesting aspect to this is that the design is made for about $15. Lisa, back to you.